Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyaguru and in today's session we are going to discuss time speed and distance. And students, the shortcuts, the time saving methods I'm going to teach you in today's video are going to be really helpful. They are not based on any sort of uh, memorization. They are not based on any sort of rectification. All you need to do is just follow the approach, the logical and the simplest approach which I'm going to teach you for time speed and distance. So watch the video till the end and make sure that you like the video and also share it with your friends and while subscribing to the channel you have to press the bell icon because that's how you're going to get the benefit of all our videos which we keep publishing from time to time so you have to watch the video till the end as you can see this video is in complete english medium because english is comprehensible to all so even our students from south india who are from telangana andhra pradesh karnataka tamil nadu kerala even they are able to understand our uh, videos well even students from northeast india those who are unable to comprehend hindi even they can be a part of our uh, sessions that's why we make videos in complete english language so let's get started and uh, now you have to be completely focused because the methods i'm going to teach you are going to be really really simple and logical without any memorization the question says a train runs at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour what is the speed of the train 40 kilometers per hour and when it does so it reaches its destination by late by 11 minutes it is late by 11 minutes when it runs at 40 kilometers per hour but when it runs at 50 kilometers per hour then it is late by five minutes only the correct time for the train to complete its journey is the correct time that means when it does not remain late when it is not late when it arrives on time now that we have read the question now let's look at how to solve it so students earlier the speed was what earlier the speed was something like or the original speed was something like 40 kilometers per hour sure so now the new speed is what the new speed is 50 kilometers per hour that means the speed has increased the speed has increased from 40 to 50 the speed is given to us what is the other thing that is given to us students the other thing that is given to us is time sure so if the speed increases from something like 40 parts to 50 parts then what will happen to the time taken students the time taken will be inversely proportional students the time taken is inversely proportional to speed all of us understand that if we increase the speed of our vehicle then the time taken to complete the journey will get reduced so the speed the speed has increased from 40 to 50 then the inverse proportion the inverse proportion will happen for will be applicable for time so i can say time gets reduced from 50 parts to 40 parts in the same proportion the time will get reduced the speed gets increased from 40 to 50 so the time will get reduced from 50 to 40 sure in the same proportion the time is getting reduced now what happens earlier earlier it was late by 11 minutes now it is late only by five minutes so by a gap of six minutes students 11 minus 5 that means six minutes now the change the change in time is what the change in time is a total of six minutes so now i can say students now is the interesting part a change of 10 parts the time taken was earlier 50 parts now the time taken is 10 parts so a change of 10 parts is equal to what a change of 10 parts is equal to a change of six minutes sure so 10 parts is equal to six minutes what was the time taken originally the time taken originally was 50 parts 10 parts becomes equal to six minutes so 50 parts students 50 parts will be equal to what 50 parts will be equal to six into five because it is five times six into five that means 30 minutes sure that means originally originally when the speed was 40 kilometers per hour students originally when the speed was 40 kilometers per hour the time taken was what the time taken was 30 minutes that means half an hour 
so it was taking 30 minutes at that time and when it took 30 minutes it was laid by 11 minutes students it was laid by 11 minutes so what is the correct time the correct time is 30 minus 11 when it is not late because when it takes 30 minutes it is late by 11 minutes so the correct time when it is no longer late is 30 minus 11 that means 19 minutes so students the answer is what the time taken to complete the journey the correct time is 19 minutes that's how you solve the question now let's apply the same funda now let's apply the same concept in a slightly more difficult question let's read it carefully ram can reach his village in 30 hours if he reduces his speed by 1 15th then he then he covers 10 kilometers less in that time so if he reduces his speed students if he reduces his speed what will happen of course he will cover less he will cover less distance and he is covering 10 kilometers less he is covering 10 kilometers less we have to find out his speed sure so what has been reduced the speed has been reduced speed has been reduced by what students speed has been reduced by 1 by 15th that means i can say if the original speed students if the original speed was 15 paths now his speed has got reduced by 1 15th so his new speed is what his new speed is 14 paths think of it like this if the original speed was 15 paths and he reduces it by one part if the reduction is one part so what is the new speed the new speed is now 14 parts can you see that there is a reduction of 1 by 15 got the point now let's look at the time part he covers 10 kilometers less in that time so students think of uh, the relationship between speed and distance if you reduce the speed if you reduce the speed then automatically you will be able to cover less distance during the same time speed and distance they are directly proportional if you increase the speed of your vehicle you cover greatest distance you cover greater distance in the same time if you reduce the speed of your vehicle you cover less distance in the same time so speed and distance students speed is directly proportional to distance all of us understand that now what are we saying the speed has been reduced so in a similar manner in a similar manner distance covered will also be reduced so i can say the distance covered will also be reduced from 15 parts to 14 parts sure so earlier he was covering 15 parts distance now he is covering 14 parts distance in the, in the same manner in a similar proportion distance will also get reduced sure that means a reduction of one part is happening a reduction of one part distance is happening but this one part distance is in real terms a gap of what in real terms it is a gap of 10 kilometers because when the speed reduces by 1 15th he covers 10 kilometers less so one part reduction is equal to a reduction of 10 kilometers so students one part is equal to how much one part is equal to 10 kilometers but what is the total distance the original distance that he was covering the original distance that he was covering is 15 parts one part is equal to 10 kilometers so students 15 parts will be equal to what automatically 15 parts will be equal to 150 kilometers so the total distance that he is covering to reach his village is 150 kilometers the distance is 150 kilometers and how much time does he take he takes 30 hours so time is what students time is distance upon speed the distance covered is 150 the time taken to cover that distance is 30 students so 150 upon 30 the speed turns out to be what the speed turns out to be 5 kilometers per hour students that's the answer to this question what is the speed 5 kilometers per hour so the method that i have taught you is 
purely logical. There are no shortcuts to be memorized. There is nothing to be memorized. There is no low rote learning. There is no rectification. So now what you have to do is have a look at the question which is there on your screen, which is there on your screen. Note it carefully. And students, if you want to be a part of our live classes, then the numbers are given on your screen. You need to call. You need to call upon those numbers right away and get registered, get signed up for our live online classes along with our live online classes. You can also sign up for our video lectures because when you combine our live classes with video lectures along with study material, believe me, you don't require anything else for your preparation. Everything gets covered through our live classes and video lectures. The numbers are given on your screen. Call upon these numbers and you'll get to know about our courses in detail. Sure. Note down this question note down this question because uh, in the next video in the next video first up i'm going to discuss the same question yes it is a tougher question i understand that that is why i'm going to give it to you as an assignment but that's a commitment in the next video i'll start from this question itself so make sure you try it once give me the answer to this question in the comment box and i will explain it in the next video at the start itself and students if you like the video, please press the like button and do share it with your friends. God bless you all. Thank you so much.